Now moving on to understand the non-ferrous minerals. The non-ferrous minerals mainly are copper and bauxite. Copper, India has been a deficient country in the availability of copper because it has been a malleable object and ductile and good conductor of heat or electronics. When it comes to deficient, deficient means not available in the completely required level or required amount of the product is not available that is called deficient and coming to malleable malleable means when it is exposed to heat and when it can be formed into the form of thin layers and sheets malleable means it can be made as thin layers and sheets so copper in india is deficient and it is deficient because it is can be made as malleable it is ductile it is a very good conductor of heat and electricity and when we talk about the good conductors of electricity wood is a bad conductor of electricity whereas copper is a good conductor of electricity the energy passes through copper very fast and very soon so it is very useful to make electrical cables electronic items that's why copper is on high demand and in india unfortunately we don't have much availability of copper for us and next moving on to the possibilities where we have the availability of copper is at Balgat mines. The Balgat mines contribute in Madhya Pradesh for nearly 52 percentage of the entire available copper in India. And also we have Singbam district in Jharkhand where we also have the availability of copper. Copper, unfortunately India has very less availability of copper. Copper is a very very useful mineral because it is a malleable mineral where you can make sheets from copper and then it is a very good conductor of electricity and it is very useful to make electronic goods and the electronic items as well as it is very very important to have electronic cables and electronic goods where coming to the production of copper as we discussed earlier the production of copper is very less in India among that available percentage Balgat mines in Madhya Pradesh are being the largest contributors with nearly 52% whereas Singbam mines in Jharkhand are the second largest contributors of copper in our country. Moving on to bauxite. Bauxite and the bauxite deposits are the next part of our lesson. Bauxite is used in making of aluminium. Aluminium is extracted from the combination of bauxites. It is found under the rocks, various varieties of rocks you find the aluminum silicates. The aluminum silicates actually bauxite gives to the rise of aluminum. Aluminum is found under the rocks whereas a combination of bauxite and the aluminum. Where aluminum is also very very important metal or a mineral for us because aluminum is also used in the manufacturing of aeroplane industry where nowadays a modern means and the fastest means of transport being the aeroplane industry has a very large demand for the mineral of aluminum. Aluminum also conducts the same qualities as that of copper. Uh, it is very good for the combination of iron and gives lightness means a very light weight and also it is a very good conductor of electrical goods or electronics and same as a copper it is also having the nature of malleability. Malleability as I told you, malleability means we can make thin sheets using this particular mineral. So bauxite and aluminium are very very useful minerals of the modern day. And where is the possibility of availability of uh, bauxite for us? Bauxite deposits are found near Amarantak Plateau and the Michael Hills. Amarantak Plateau and the Michael Hills are being the largest contributors of the bauxite for us. And the largest producer of aluminum is we have in Orissa at the Panchapatmali at the district of Korapat district. That's how we have the availability of the non-ferrous minerals. The non-ferrous minerals main one is copper whereas copper in India we have deficit. We have malleable nature for copper which gives special significance for copper. It is a very good conductor of electrical goods and electricity which is found in the states of Madhya Pradesh and Jharkhand. While we have bauxite which is another important mineral. It also gives rise to the combination of aluminium where it is found in large amount. It is combined with iron to get the light nature for the iron. And also it is also having the features like copper like good conductor of electricity and the malleability. 
whereas it is found in the amarantha plateau and also in the michael hills and in the parts of orissa where you find huge deposits of bauxite and aluminium now let us move on to the non metallic minerals if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus